Morning Good again. Morning. So we decided to come back on and we're going to actually play with our um, download speeds and look at it, see what it's actually doing, see if we can prove that Verizon is throttling us exactly. when we do this. Russ is going to bring up the video on, on his uh, phone so we can watch it. We have to reload it. And um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Do you want to tell them about your workout while you're doing that? You want to give it there to me go. and let me do it? Um, turn it on. Yes, yeah, so let me just turn it on. Give me just two seconds, folks. And you I'll... can't do things and talk at the same no, time. No, <laughs> I have a hard time with that. That is true. All right, so we can watch it and we can see if we... Uh, if we pixelate and uh, everything. So tell yeah. them about your workout. Again. Okay, so today was a good workout. <laughs> I bet you didn't know that. <laughs> so uh, today I did uh, shoulders, triceps, and core abs and lower back. Um, great energy, good workout. Uh, like I told you, I did about 14 sets of shoulder presses. You said, what? <laughs> I did say what, and I still say what. what? Uh, so that was good. Um, as I mentioned, the crowd wasn't bad today. It was very crowded when I first got there. Um, but 10 minutes in, it kind of emptied out, and I almost had the whole gym to myself. We haven't seen New Year's resolution people this year. No, we, well, we've seen a lot of younger kids because the college is out, and we're right next to the university. So we're seeing that. Right. And I think, I think that was who was there early in the morning when I first got in there. So, okay. Yeah. And as I said previously, I did legs uh, today. I did 90 lunges, which I was pretty happy with. The One of the trainers there thinks I'm crazy because I, I lunged down the hallway. She's like, do you lunge the whole hallway? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so, and I tried a new exercise today. I did um, kettlebell squats on the BOSU ball. So we'll see. Maybe that'll give me a little bit of different yes. kind of exercise. She told me that and I went, BOSU, BOSU, BOSU. No? You're very strange ah. human. Well, yes, I am strange. All right. Uh, obviously, we're not eating breakfast because it's fasting it's day fasting here. Fasting day, yeah. But I did want to share with you guys. I went to the library yesterday and I got some books. Now you may be actually be able maybe to see them. Maybe able to see them because when I showed you to them before, it was pixelating. So there's the uh, China Study Cookbook. This is by the guy who uh, Colin Campbell. He is the founder of the Nutrition Center for Nutrition Studies, where I'm getting my yeah. certification for plant-based. Um, Lifestyle, plant-based yeah. eating. And now, did he actually do the China study? He did. With, with the, with with the, the uh, Chinese, Chinese doctor. doctor, yeah. Right. So I'll go through this cookbook, and I'll let you guys know if I find any uh, yummy recipes in there. So and, I don't... and for those who don't know, the, the China study was a study done in China where they tested different regions to find out what type of diseases were prevalent. And, and the, look at their diet. How it related to their diet. Yeah. yeah. So it's very interesting, a huge, huge population study that, that yeah. looked at how diet affects disease right and then um, I told you we've been watching le lectures by uh, dr. Uh, McDougall John McDougall and he um, he talks about starch and this is his book uh, there you go the starch the solution. solution so um, I'm very interested in reading that and in watching one of his lectures he mentioned a thing called the rice diet and he talked about how eating white rice was really good for losing weight and lowering um, blood pressure and all these different things. And I could not wrap my mind around that. I was like, how is that even possible? Um, but, you know, if they, if they say the science is there, I believe them. So I went in search of the book, and I found it also at the library, The Rice Diet Solution. Right. This is not by the original doctor right. who came up with the, um, with the diet. His name was Dr. Kemplar, um, but this is by two people who worked with him a registered nutritionist and a um, and an MD. So I'm reading that. I'm not very far into it yet, but I did take a few notes that I wanted to, to share with you. And interesting enough, as you mentioned in our previous video, is, is the actual uh, Dr. Kemplar, 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 I think, um, who did this, uh, who who did this original uh, rice diet, refuses to be interviewed um, when when he was alive. Obviously, he's not alive anymore. No, he uh, died in 1997. Right. Um, but when he was alive, he would not do uh, interviews because he was attacked. As, People accused him of lying about right, his right. about his switching findings. the before and after shots. Yeah. So theory. So I'm, I'm trying to wrap my brain around that. So what they're basically saying he did is he took a thin person, took a picture of them, then made them 300 pounds overweight, and took another picture and then reversed it and said, "See what happens." Yeah. I mean, which is just nonsense. Seriously. Nonsense. Yeah. So the the rice diet basically removes salt because it says that sodium is a, an appetite stimulant which I, I was unaware of that. And the main sources of food are um, fruits, veggies, grains, beans, fiber, yay, good for you, yeah. but mostly rice and white rice white because rice. he found that people wouldn't eat brown rice and he's like, if you can't get them to eat it, it doesn't do them any good. Right. 
So it was mostly white rice. The thing that for me that's super frustrating is that he actually discovered this in 1939. Right. And then he studied it for many, many years. And he discovered that it can it decreases. So the, let me tell you about how he discovered it first, because he discovered it by accident. Um, a woman was in who had severe hypertension, and this was before they had blood pressure medications, and she had a retinal disease. And he told her to go um, on this rice and fruit only for two weeks mm -hmm. diet and come back. But he had a very thick German accent, and she misunderstood. And so she didn't come back for um, two months. And when she came back, her blood pressure was down from 190 over 120 to 124 over 84. Her bleeding eye had healed, and her heart, which had been enlarged, had de decreased in size. Right. And so that for him was this like aha moment that, wait, this is this rice, this food that we're eating just plants is really healthy. And so by 1947, he had been able to show that this rice diet that he worked on would reverse and heal retinal disease, hypertension, kidney dysfunction, cholesterol, lower cholesterol levels, address cardiovascular disease and congestive heart failure, and that it would reduce or eliminate the need for insulin in type 2 diabetics. Right. But unfortunately, not pharmaceutically approved. Right. And as <laughs> someone point, pointed out on, our, on the other video that pixelated, rice isn't, you can't make a lot of profit on rice. Right. Pharmaceutical companies can't make money on rice. Right. Low so profit. we've known about this. We, I say, as humans, have known about this by science for 70 years, yes. and we haven't done anything with it. Right. So well, that, that's super frustrating yeah. to me. I mean, I'm frustrated that I just learned about whole food plant-based eating. <laughs> she expressed it with me, like, the anger. I'm so I am, annoyed. You know, I am, too. I mean, I, we I just was, learned about it in, you know, last year. Right, and all those years I spent bodybuilding, and, I mean, you know, you're talking almost 40 years. And we were healthy. We talked to our doctors about right. health. We talked to nutritionists. Like, right. we were super healthy people, and no one ever told us about whole food plant-based eating. Right. Right. Which just annoy, and even um, Dr. Campbell, who runs the research study and did the China study, he's known about it for 30 years. He's right. been studying it forever, his entire career. That's what his, one of his doctors in nutrition. Isn't his it? doctorate's in nutrition. Yes. Yeah. So, um, but one thing that they talk about in in this book, and I'm like I said, I'm not very far in yet. I'm just barely reading it so right. far. Um, they talk about how. Part of the reason that this rice diet is successful is because it's an in-house thing and it offers a lot of psychological support, which, you know, why do you choose the foods you do and your eating behavior and how do you change your eating behavior? And so that is something that I want to make a real part of the R&R &R Journey website is right. to create a space where we'll have a community page where people can just, you know, who our members can be. But then I also think I'm going to try and run groups. And I don't know what that looks like yet. I'm still working on that. But because I do have a doctoral degree in psychology, I may as well use it right. to help people be healthy with their eating as right. we're as we're using doing this kind of work. Right. And, and you'll keep the groups down to They're small. They're going to be small. Right. Yeah. I don't want to have, there's no reason to have a support group with 500 people. No, you can't stop. support each other. The you point is you have to be anybody. able to support each other while having a professional there to input and moderate and make sure that everybody is being friendly and, and, right, and yes, supporting and not, yeah. not doing the uh, negative side. Yeah. Absolutely. So that that's what I've gotten so far. And like I said, I have not read very much of it yet, but I will continue to read. I will continue to take notes. And my notes will be, when the website's up, my notes will be on there under, um, it'll, I think we're calling it the notes and quotes page. So yes. I will definitely put my notes. But this is the book I'm reading because I was really super interested in this rice diet because how can white rice be good for us? It's, right. We've been told so much that it's not. Right. So. I will continue to talk about that. It looks like we didn't pixelate this time. I'm nope, super excited about So far, it looks like that. everything went well. That means I'm going to delete the other one, and I'll just leave this yeah, one. Yeah, same out. information. We don't have to keep them both. Yeah. Right. So um, thank you for all of you who were on the other one and who told us it pixelated and, and who had who came, your comments. And I came back that. to this one. And who came back here. Right. You guys are awesome. And as we mentioned yesterday, um, when the website comes up, the people who have taken our survey, which is on the r, &R Journey page, We'll be the first to be notified that the website is up and available. We, um, we'll be sending it out via our first newsletter. Correct. So make sure that we have your email address and that you've taken our survey so that we can um, let you know when the website is up and running. That's correct. And did you mention the share and all that other stuff? Did I didn't tell okay, them that. So That's good. I always, always forget. As we always ask people, please, uh, if you like what we're doing here and if you think it's helping, please share it. Um, please like our page, the R&R &R Journey page on Facebook. I, I mean, uh, and also on YouTube is the R&R &R Journey. R&R &R Journey to help. 
Yep, on right. YouTube. I mean, and I just upload these videos there so they're right. easy so to search. If you ever want to go back and see something or, or start from the beginning, that's where you can do it. It's on the uh, YouTube page. YouTube channel, yep, yeah. absolutely. And please like it. Um, all videos are commercial free. <laughs> yeah, we're not making money on this. Right, exactly. Guys, we're just sharing our knowledge. And, I, you know, somebody yesterday said to me, I will watch you and, and as long as you don't expect me to do it 100% like you do. And what I told her was, I don't expect anything right. from anyone. Right. All I'm trying to do is give you information so that you can make an educated decision. That's right. that's my goal. Your life, your choices. I would never judge someone on what they do. It's up to you. And, and absolutely anything about what we talk about that anybody decides to do is going to be better for their health. So yeah, anything is better. Eat more plants. Eat more plants. <laughs> right. I think that's good. I think, I think that's good. So Very we'll happy see you tomorrow. Thank take. you again. I'm glad that it didn't uh, pixelate, and I guess we're going to have to do this whole setup thing again. Right, exactly. And so with that, for the second time today, we will say, eat real food, not too much, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have a great day, we'll guys. We'll see you tomorrow.